Perversion Story is an Italian movie from 1969 directed by Lucio Fulci. The movie is set in San Francisco and follows a doctor played by Sean Sorel, who is accused of murdering his wife, played by the stunning Marisa Mel. But suddenly, one day, he sees a stripper who looks very identical to his former wife. And then he starts to become suspicious about if the stripper is indeed his real wife. Truth to be said, Perversion Story has an, a ridiculous plot. It is definitely not realistic. And yet, I can't help myself. This movie is a guilty pleasure of mine. It feels almost like it is a remake of uh, Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. Uh, and it is definitely not the first time Vertigo has been very influential for thrillers. Just look at uh, many of the movies of uh, Brian De Palma of the erotic uh, thrillers from the late 80s and early 90s. Vertigo have been imitated lots of times. And I actually read uh, recently that an official remake of Vertigo with uh, Robert Downey Jr. in the main lead is in uh, development. Which I think is a rather stupid idea, to be honest. But anyway, back to this movie. Perversion Story takes uh, Vertigo's plot and location. But where Vertigo is more sophisticated and has a bigger sense of ambiguity, this movie instead throws everything in your face. There are a lot of, of very steamy sex scenes in this movie. And for a movie from 1969, then it is pretty daring. It is a movie that I probably should dislike since it has a very unoriginal plot. And um, it is also very predictable. Uh, without spoiling too much, but if you have watched Vertigo by Hitchcock or, or Body Double by Brian De Palma, then you will see the plot twist coming for this movie. And yet, I kind of find it very entertaining. First and foremost, I love how uh, the movie uh, looks and feels. The jazzy score by Riz uh, Ota Otolani is awesome. Uh, the score is even greater to hear if I am just hearing it casually without seeing the movie. The cinematography and the editing in this movie is also very great and well, very well stylish. I can forgive the plot even though it is not very original, but at least it doesn't take itself too seriously. Um, the acting in the movie is okay. But it is not the, that type of movie that has the greatest actor in the world. Jean Sorel is fine as the main character, as the lead role. but And he has a great face, but in my opinion, it is um, Marisa Mail who um, steals the show. Unfortunately, she didn't have the easiest life in, uh, and she passed uh, away, unfortunately, too soon. The movie is not great, but it is very fun, and uh, it's the kind of movie that wouldn't get made today. And I just wish you could get uh, the, this movie on Blu-ray in Europe, uh, but it, it's unfortunately very difficult to get. I would give this movie 7 stars out of 10. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you have watched this movie and what you think of it.